What's going on guys, Balkan Architect here and I'm very excited today because I'm finally launching my Revit Roofs Masterclass. So I decided to create a course for Revit and I was thinking like, okay, this is going to be some sort of a mini course, maybe one hour or something like that. But then more that I kind of uh, researched the Revit roofs and more I had ideas on what to do. So it grew from this little course into a whole seven hour Revit roofs masterclass. So uh, in the end, the whole course is seven hours long uh, and it includes pretty much everything you need to know when it comes to roofs in Revit. Uh, I start off by explaining all of the Revit tools and kind of the basic functionality of all of the tools that we have on offer. And then once we've covered that, uh, I cover all of the little settings and uh, all of the little features that are kind of adjacent to that tool and that are necessary to know when it comes to making Revit roofs. Uh, next, we move over and we start creating some uh, Revit roofs and I show you uh, the approach for modeling a vast number of uh, different types of roofs. So from uh, some regular roofs that you can see uh, quite often to some roofs that are quite, quite rare to see and, uh, and but they all have uh, different approaches and I wanted to cover all of those in this course. Uh, and then moving forward I also cover how to make complex roofs. Now uh, I did a little bit of research online and I haven't really seen any courses that cover this topic even though that's probably the most important topic when it comes to creating roofs. Creating complex compound roofs. These roofs are not just one little footprint and then you create a roof, that's simple. Uh, but in most cases, roofs don't work like that. You usually have multi-level roofs, uh, you have a lot more work to do. They're usually not just one roof, usually they're combined out of several different roofs. Like you can have five roofs that can all join together and create one uh, large complex roof. And that's something that they decided to cover and they actually have three complex advanced uh, Revit roof projects inside of this course where we kind of exercise the different approaches, uh, the methodology the workflow uh, that's important to understand when it comes to building these. So uh, like all of my Revit courses that are available on my website, uh, the, this is both theory and then also practice on actual real life projects. Uh, that's I think that's the most important part of these uh, courses. Uh, and then of course I, I cover how to create the construction uh, of the roof uh, and of course how to represent that. So all of the kind of the, the visibility and the graphic appearance of roofs, I cover all of that. And also as a bonus chapter, even though this is something that I don't usually recommend people do, but they see a lot of people are researching this and that is how to create a 3D roof tile, Spanish roof tile uh, that's actually in 3D. And uh, people are, have been asking me uh, how to create this for the longest time, so I thought, okay, why not? I'm going to include that in this course as sort of a bonus chapter. Even though that's something I don't recommend you do, I, I decided to kind of show you the approach that's necessary to create a basic uh, 3D Spanish tile roof. So I, I hope that's interesting as well uh, in this course. So uh, the course is available on my website. It's going to be the first link uh, just below uh, the video. There on that page you can check out more about this course. Uh, as I said, I, you, if, if you want to know how to create <laughs> Revit roofs, this is the only course or master class that you need for that. I pretty much cover everything. So yeah, that, that's uh, that's why I'm so excited and it did take me uh, quite a long time, more than usual for creating these courses, but I think that in the end uh, the whole course is really in-depth, high, highly detailed and I think uh, you're going to like it really much. Uh, okay, so that's pretty much it for this quick little announcement. Uh, I hope you're excited for this course uh, as well uh, as much as I am and I'll be back of course with another regular Balkan Architect tutorial. Uh, in a couple of days. So uh, thank you for watching and I'll see you soon. Have a nice day.